I'm going to do my best to fill this out live and fill out my first week of my calendar and my dashboard. No, I've never done this before. This is my first time in my planner. So bear with me as I'm trying to do some pen tests to see what's going to look good in it. Um, and it might take a little longer than you'd like. If it does, you can always fast forward it. But here we go because I'm literally recording this as I do it. And I won't be editing it. Editing it. So first I'm going to check out some of my dot marker colors. I got some white paper over here on the side. I just want to see what color that they are. Man, that bleeds through a lot. I really hope that doesn't bleed through on this paper. So I'm just taking a couple of shades of blue to see what color goes through. Man, I should be testing this on some EC paper. Um, I hate to do this. I really don't want to write on. Everybody swears those dark markers don't go through. But I'm going to turn to the back. And I'm going to use one of these note pages that I don't want to. You know what? Um, I'll use this. That's what I will do. I'll use this page right here because this is the Erin Condren paper and I don't give a crap about writing on this heritage stuff. So let's see if this blue marker bleeds through if I dot. I hope not. It does not bleed through. Thank goodness because I was super worried. I'm going to try the more blue blue that's like American blue. See what color it shows up and if it bleeds. You can see there is some shadowing and a little bit of bleed on that one. Sorry, I'm just looking through the other side. So that's not 100% great. Let me try this gray one. The gray one is good. So I'm going to set the ones that work up here great so that I know. I'm going to try this other shade of blue like a light blue that one's good to go it's just the dark color so far that I'm having some issue with but again I need to try them because I want to make sure okay that one's perfect that shade of pink is perfect it's like tan color let me see what it looks like on the other side nope so far only the one is like truly horrendous um, but I'm going to keep testing them and make sure it's like a peachy color. See if that bled through. Nope, that one's good to go. So, so far only that dark blue is really bad. And that's the color I really wanted, so I'm going to have to use that other shade of blue. Okay, this one's good. This green one. Um, try the yellow one. Hope you guys can see this on the camera. Yep, that one's good. You'll just have to take my word that it doesn't bleed because when I open it, it's off camera. Believe me, I wouldn't tell you that it didn't bleed if it did. This one's good. So far, only one bled. So, so far, so good. Purple one is good. Okay, here's another blue one. Looks like the blue so far, the only one that caused me any issues. So let me check this one. Nope, no issue at all. I can't even see where I stamped it on the other side. So I'm going to try these one more time. The this color blue. I'll leave it right there. See what it looks like on the other side. I mean, I can. It has a little shadowing, but I'm going to say that this one doesn't bleed. But let me check this um, other shade. I think this one's the one that I have a lot of trouble with. And that really is the color that I want. And that has a lot of shadowing. I don't know if you can see that right there, but all those dark colors that I just made here, here, and here, that is this marker. This is called Splash. Splash bleeds great, like crazy. But this other blue is shadows. It's right here. I don't know if you can see at the tip. This one is denim and it's kind of okay. So for blue, I'm going to have to use denim. I'm going to put this one back in my thing so I don't accidentally use it. But yes, it bleeds horrible. All right, so let's go back to where I had it open. I apologize for all that trouble, but I need to know which ones would work. So here we are. 
gonna move my Kurtaki dot markers over here so they're spread out and I can see all the colors on the side here. Uh, make sure this is in frame so that we are good to go. But man, that dark blue bled like crazy, especially on regular paper. Don't ever try to use these on regular paper. And again, I just have some a pen to try out over here. This is my um, Simply Gilded pen. Man, that writes super good. Um, I guess I should have tested this on that Erin Condren paper too while I'm over here. Apologize, I'm gonna flip back again. Back to that holiday page because I don't care anything about that page. I'm never gonna look at it. Where it go? Where is that holiday page? Come on, guys. I'm sorry, I'm struggling here. Here we go. So I'm just gonna write with this pen at the top, make sure it doesn't bleed. So I've never used this in an Erin Condren planner. And it doesn't, I can't even tell where I wrote it. So yeah, it does not bleed. I know my Micron pens do not bleed, but just to be safe, I'm gonna take the thickest one, which is my 0 0.5. I've got four different sizes over here. Just gonna make sure that doesn't bleed either. And no, absolutely not. So if I want to use my, either one of these micron pins that I have, I have a point one, a point two, and a point three, and a point five. I also have a point eight, but um, I don't really use that in my planner. And then I have this one, which I think is like a point five. That works great. So I'm going to move this notepad because I don't need that anymore. Sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> And I'm going to write in my planner. So let's go. I'm going to use the 0.5 here, I think, is fine. It seemed to write just fine. So let's see, top priorities. My top priorities is to study for my test this time. I have a test coming up. So study for social studies tests. That's a top priority for me. All right. Another top priority this time is one of my classes is finishing, so I need to grade papers. Actually, I'm going to put projects, grade projects. Um, I need to submit grades. Because one of my classes, like I said, is ending in the beginning of this month. And go to gym. I have taken the month of June off from working out um, and I'm going to start back again in July. I made it my little vacation month, so I'm going to start back in July. Mm, I don't have anything to write here yet. I can't think of anything. Don't forget. Um, I just really can't think of anything for these categories right now, but these are definitely going to be on here. So this is what I have for that. I'm going to switch to smaller pen for my habits when I go to the point three. And Jim is going to be the first one. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing I'm tracking. And the next thing I'm tracking are my meds. I want to keep up with whether or not I'm taking my meds. The next one I'm going to track. Let me grab my paper because I wrote it down. Apologies. Um... I want to track how many days that I film to make sure I stay on a good schedule. I want to track my cleaning days, how many days I clean. I want to track the days that I eat healthy. So 
because these are my focuses for this month and I want to track my days that I'm going to be studying just for this month because I've got to make sure I study every day and I'm going to leave the last two blank in case there's some other things that I want to add to it and I'm leaving those blank intentionally so um The only really important thing that I have going on in July are that I need to get um, some more hours. And I'm going to turn this sideways. I apologize because just right more comfortably sideways. So I'm going to pick my point five up again. This is where I was going to use the dot marker, but I'm kind of afraid to do it. So I might just use a dash. I'm afraid it'll bleed through, but I really want to use this dot marker. So let's see. Let's try it out. Here goes nothing. Right, there's my first thought. Um, so, study daily for test. That's what's important because I got to take the test. Um, after that, I'm going to go gym two to three times per week. That's my goal for that one. I'll do another dot. Oh, I'm going to check and make sure these aren't bleeding. Please don't bleed. Nope, we're good. Yay. Uh, like I said, I, the other color would have matched better, but sorry, I'm going to have to use this color because the other one does bleed. So gem two to three times per week. Make it a little darker. I'm gonna make sure that didn't bleed. Please don't bleed. Oh, I did a little bit. Okay, don't double stamp those. <laughs> Gym two to three times per week. Then I'm going to meal prep. Healthy food. So those are all important. Um, I need to clean out bathroom because we're remodeling it still. So I need to get all of that stuff out of it. Of all of the construction stuff we've been doing. So I'm gonna leave that for there. And don't forget, I'm gonna put my test date. So let me flip over to make sure I get that test date right. The test is on the 9th at 1.45. So, social studies cert test on 7-9 at 1.45 p.m. Be 30 minutes early. Okay, so I'm writing that down. Well, now let's go ahead and put a dot here. Making sure that doesn't bleed. Nope, we're good for that one. So, so far we're good. This is what I have so far. I'm not going to put dots in here. I'm going to check them off as I do them. And I'm going to check off the other things as I do them here. So this is my first dashboard. I'm going to make sure we're in frame. So give me a second to check that. So here's what this first one is going to look like. Now I haven't received any of my paychecks or uploaded any videos because it's not actually July yet. So I can't write anything on my paycheck or anything like that because none of that has happened yet. Because the first week still has part of June in it. All right, so I'm going to open the spread like this. And I'm going to check the camera so you guys can see. And this is my first week spread, as you know. So some of these things I'm going to be able to write in um, already. And some of them I won't. Because you know, just like anybody that plans, you'll only be able to write in some things until they happen. And I'm going to use the point three to write in here. So I can go ahead and do my work schedule. So I have to check my other calendar to catch my work schedule. So one moment while I flip it open. 
because it's still in June and I'm in my other calendar in June. Okay, so I check my plum paper and I'll be working the last week of June on um, from on Monday. I'll be working from 10 till 3. Tuesday, I'll be working from 10 till 11 because I only have one class on that day. On Wednesday, I'll be working from 10 till 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over because the 30th is on this side. And I'll be working from 10 till 11. And that's assuming that I don't take any new classes between now and then. But I doubt that they will start that soon if I take them. Okay. In July, I'm flipping through, sorry. So July on the 1st, it's a Friday I don't work on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So we will, I can put my plum paper planner up. And now we are good. So those are my work times. I'm going to flip this to here so I can fill in some information here. I'm just going to check one more time that we're in the camera view. All right, so work on Monday. Let's see, study time. I have a meeting at the library. I'm meeting my friends at the library. At library. At noon. So that's what time that I'm going to go be studying. Library at noon. So that gives me time to eat and to get to the library. Alright, so I'm going to go to the gym here. I don't know what time yet because I'm studying and the gym's open 24-7. So I'm not going to put a time down yet for the gym on Tuesday because I don't know what time I'm going to get done studying. And I don't know what I'm going to eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner yet because I haven't made it. Um, I do my meal prep on Sunday, so I'll go back and fill those in then. Um, let's see. What I need to know here on this one is, um, I'm going to write it in this blank space here that projects are due. Because my projects are due in that class. So I need to make sure that I tell the kids that the projects are due the day before. My to-do list on Tuesday is to tell kids about the projects. Um, so, let me see if I can write this in here. Projects due tomorrow. So I want to make sure that that's done. So I need to grade because some people are going to turn it in early. Um, I need to send out emails on missing work. Um, let's see what else do I need to do. Um, and that's pretty much it for that for now. I left two more in case I needed it. Date night, I don't know where we're going to go. Um, probably to the movies. But I have to make sure um, which movie that we're going to see first. Because like new movies come out all the time. So I, wanna, I don't want to put down what movie I'm going to watch or at what time until I confirm that up with my husband. I also have to go to hospital that day. My mother-in-law is in the hospital. So... I work all day though, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go with him, depending on what time he goes. On Monday, I also need to grade. So I'm going to put that in this grade. Email kids. Because I've got to do this both days because kids will be not turning in work and I'll have to do it in both classes. 
Um, I'm gonna leave these two just in case there's something else because I put that icon there because this is work stuff. Um, I don't do an entirely large amount. I need to make sure I study this day. I didn't put a thing on there for study, so I'm gonna put that down. I need to study for my social studies test because um, it's like only a couple of weeks out from here. So I um, can't think of anything else for right now. It's just like really late right now. It's like 3.30 in the morning. So my brain is not working. So I'm definitely going to have to go back and fill some of this in later. Chores. I definitely need to wash clothes. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put kitchen. Room. Office. Um, kitchen room, office dishes. So those are the chores so far. I'm going to leave the other two open in case I come up with something else specific. Um, I'm going to wash on Saturday because that's typically when I wash. So I'm going to leave that for that. I don't know what time I'm going to go to the gym yet because I still have to study and I don't, I'm supposed to be my friend to study. So I don't know where. We're gonna go yet. I don't have any weekend plans yet because like I said, my mother-in-law is in the hospital. She just had a kidney transplant and um, I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work out for me. I also need to film on some of these days. So I don't know which days that that's gonna be because it's just been a little crazy this week. Sometime this week, I'm supposed to get my um, hourly planner from Erin Condren, and I'll be able to film doing a spread on it. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's like 3.30. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here yet. So I think that this is all that I can put in right now. I know it's not a lot. But this is all I got for right now. And I need to meal prep. And I need to put that somewhere. But I don't have a meal prep sticker. So I need to go find that. I'm just going to pause. Alright guys. I'm back after my pause from last night. I'm sorry I had to pause and come back. But I was literally falling asleep. It was like 3.30 in the morning. So I'm going to finish where I got to. Um, while I was off camera. I added this meal plan sticker. Because it takes a little while to go through all my sticker books. To find everything. So I needed to add the meal prep here that I prepped the meals for the next week. So I found that sticker off camera and put that on there. That's pretty much, I can't remember if I added anything else since then. I think I added study and plan after off camera. Also, I don't remember, to be honest, it was so late. And then I might've added sheets and towels here. But that's pretty much it for that, that I changed. Um, so let's get back to what we were planning. Now I used the 0.3 micron pen to write in my planner. And I'm gonna take a look and see if there's anything else that I can add to it. I just didn't wanna abruptly leave by saying that I was gonna pause because I was just so tired. I was gonna fall asleep while I was planning. All right, so let's see if there's anything else that I'm going to do that I can write in. Um, Sunday, I know I'm definitely gonna be studying. So that's something that I need to put in there. So let me find a sticker for that. So give me one second. I didn't want to dig for stickers while we were live, but it looks like I'm not going to have a choice. So I have my sample books because I know that there's a study sticker in here. So I'm looking through here to find it. I ordered some study stickers that's supposed to come in today. But um, obviously they haven't gotten here yet because the mail hasn't ran. It did say today, so I don't know what mail company runs on Sunday, but that one particularly is, I got it from Amazon. They deliver every day of the week. So I'm going to find the one that I had in here. So give me one second because I'm flipping through to get it. It will take just a second. I apologize here. I'll flip through on here just to give you guys something to look at besides my camp, my thing. So... I think I have one more study because they come right here. It says time study time or something. I may be wrong. 
Um, but I'm going to try to look and see if I can find that one. And if I can't, I apologize that I wasted your time. I will be looking for a book or something like that to put there in case that I can't find it as I'm flipping. So, let me see. Maybe I'll pull one of these out just in case. Because I can use one of these for study time if I can't find the one that actually says study time. So, bear with me as I flip through all of these to find them. I should have organized them better, but I just haven't. I haven't had time to organize them, and I don't even really know how to organize them. So if you have any tips for that, I've tried to double up some of them, but it hasn't worked out very well for me, <laughs> as you can see, because I'm still flipping through them. So I think that I had one more left. I could have been wrong. I might have used it. I just don't recall using it. It looks like must have used it, because I don't see it anywhere. I'm going to pull this one, too, because there's some cute ones on this. Um, oh, there it is. Found it. Study time. So I'm going to pull this one. I'm just going to pull all that out and I'll put those back. I have that done. Um, sorry guys, I've had allergy problems today and I accidentally hit the mouse and I was watching someone else's planner set up. All right. So now that I have these stickers pulled, I'm going to pull the thing that says study time off. So I apologize, I'm a little organized today. I told you I wasn't gonna edit anything so you get to see the full me. <laughs> so study time is gonna go here. I'm gonna stick that here because I need to study on that Sunday um, because I have a, no work that day so it gives me plenty of time to study. So I'm gonna definitely put some study there. I'm gonna try to take Friday and Saturday off of studying unless I just feel like it, but I do need to study on Sunday. Um, I'm reasonably sure I took the practice exam for the social studies and I made it 80 on the practice exam before I started studying. But you have to pay like $150 to take the test. And there's no refunds if you don't pass it. Not that I think I'm not going to pass it, but I'm a little paranoid and I'm kind of a perfectionist. So I want to make sure that I put that there. I might even stick one of these cute little study things on here. These are super cute. So I may stick one of these on here. Let me see. I think this one's kind of cute where you're like dead tired. Um, and I also like this one that looks like she's studying. So I'm going to pick the study sticker right here. That's super cute. Look how cute that is. I just can't. Let me make sure I scoot it over close enough that it's not off the page. Yep, it made it. So that is adorable to leave there. I might put some more of those. Here's a Friday yay one. I might use this one because I need to pull up some space here. There we go. Any of these other ones that I have. Um, I don't see any of these other ones. What does that even say? I don't know. No spin. <laughs> oh, she looks sad from that. Let's see what these are. Some pencils. Do I have another study time? Because it'll be fun. Yeah, I'll use this pencil when this is kit. I'll put this by this study time because that's adorable. And let's see what else do we got. Um, there's some planner time. So I have planner time over here. So let me pull this cute little planner out and stick it right here. That's adorable. Um, what else do I have? I have a bunch of books. I don't have another study one. No, I could probably study another day, but I don't have any more study stickers. That one literally was my last one. Oh, here's a study here and here's a study here, but that's it. So if I can find some more study stickers, I did order some more, um, but they're not going to get here yet. So I don't, I'm going to get Happy Mail one day this week, but I'm not entirely sure what day that's going to be. Um, date night's going to be fun. I'm not painting or anything like that this week. So I don't think I can use any of these. Maybe I'll put the folder here for all this work stuff that I have to do. I'll put this here because it's kind of super cute, I think. Or maybe I'll put it here to do. What do you guys think? Where should I put it? Maybe here because that has a lot of white space in it. All right. So I'll put that there. Um, sleep in there. Here's a little bed one. I can put that over there. I'm just trying to use these little stickers. 
because what else am I going to use them for? And they were on the little like um, sampler sheets. Okay, so I put a few of those stickers on there. See if there's anything useful in this. Out to eat. I'm definitely going to be going out to eat on date night. So I'll pull this one up. And put it in here. So that one I definitely will be doing. I definitely will be working from home all this time. But I don't want to put that on all of them. I might put it in this blank space here. Just because it's cute. Okay. So I got that one in there. Um, there's a time to clean one. But I already have chores and stuff there. So I don't really need that one. Um... I think that's pretty much it for that. My car payment is due here. I This is not my car payment. This is just what I pay on my car payment. Let me use the point three. So don't freak out. <laughs> I overpay my car payment. So I need to pay that. And I actually have a Jeep Wrangler. And if you know, like those don't come cheap. Um, my husband and I both have a Jeep Wrangler because we just really love them. So let's see. So we got that done. I'm pretty much can't think of anything else we're going to do. I don't know my Friday plans yet because like I said, my mother-in-law's in the hospital. I'm not sure what day we're going to go visit her. I know my husband for sure is off on Wednesday because he's usually almost always off on Wednesday, which is why I have um, date night here. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, that might end up getting changed because he also has a couple of co-workers that had a death in the, one of them had a death in the family and the other one was in the hospital. It's like kind of been a rough at his work and um, our personal life with a lot of people getting sick and things like that lately. So, and people been in the hospital. So our plans have been changing a little bit. So I'm glad that these stickers come up easily because that might end up on Friday. I don't even know what day he's going to be off after that. So um, we're going to have to check because he originally was off on Wednesday, but he said that he found out his boss was in the hospital due to dehydration or something. So I've got to make sure that that sticks because he may have to work for him one of those days. So hopefully they all get better. One of his other co-workers, um, who's on the same level as him, just got out of the hospital for dehydration. I don't know. Everybody in Florida is dehydrating right now. So I want to make sure that... Um, oh, and on this day, I'm going to put in a little reminder. Remind students that... Remind... I don't even know if you guys can see. Sorry. Remind... Students that projects are due due on 29th. Okay, so that one's important. So that's what I have to do for my classes. That's what I put that there for. Um, because I see these two groups of kids on these two days, and then I have another group of kids on Tuesday and Thursday. So, um, well, actually, the group of kids that are on Tuesday and Thursday are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for an hour, and these two groups I have from 10 till 3. I have two groups between those times, plus this one, so that's why it takes from 10 till 3. All right, so um, this is what I have right now, and these are not how many few, how few hours that I normally work. This is just because it's summer and I'm a school teacher, so these are just extra pay jobs for me because, as you know, teachers don't work in the summer. These are like summer school classes that I'm teaching. Normally, I work five days a week, you know, a normal work schedule like everyone else, but in the summertime, I don't work as much. So just so you know that, that I'm not just a slacker and only work like a few hours a day. All right. So I can't think of anything else to put in. So I'm going to leave it right here for now. And sorry if I like blabbered a lot or whatever. But I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to write on all of this. Oh, I didn't fill this to-do list out. Let's flip this over. So to-do is... And I think I can use some of those Stamby things. I think I have this one that matches pretty good. So I'm going to put one dot at a time. To-do... Clean, that's my priority this week. Clean house. I want to clean a lot this week. Um, grade, I need to do a lot of grading. Um, 
Um, what else do I need to do? Film this week. I need to film. I'm going to film twice this week at least. I only put one of them down. Well, I don't think I even showed you where I put the film down. I think I did that off camera. I put the film here. I found my film sticker in the film thing. So this is the day I'm going to film Friday because that gives me time to get my hourly in. It hasn't shipped yet, but I paid for expedited shipping. So it should be in here by Friday. It should ship today or tomorrow. So I should get it by here because I paid for two day shipping. Um, and if not, I'll have some other Happy Mail in by then that I can film. So that's it. I may only film once this week because it's kind of a little hectic this week. I may fill it, film a second time after Friday, but I doubt that I'll film again before Friday. So film, uh, clean, grade, um, visit Al's mom. So visit, visit mother-in-law. So I need to do that. Um, what else am I going to do? Put another dot in here. Let me make sure these aren't bleeding through because I'm always curious. No, nope, they're good. No bleeding and very little shadowing. Visit mother-in-law. Um, that's pretty much it that I can think of. Uh, study. I forgot to put that on here because I'm going to put that on as many times as I can. Study. I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. Because I don't want to put too much on it and overwhelm myself. If I see too many things on the list, I like a little overwhelmed so this is what i have so far to make sure you guys can see the whole thing all right so this is what i have so far and i need to close the lid of this before i keep writing all over myself with this marker apologies because apparently that's something that i just did <laughs> oh that's nice it wipes off really easily i wrote all over myself and it wiped off with just the kleenex All right, so here we go. So this is what my overview looks like. I'm gonna pick it up and zoom in a little bit so you guys can kind of see where everything is. I'm gonna scroll through so if you have any chance to look at it here. And again, like I said, I will be writing more things in as it gets closer and throughout the week. By Monday, I'll know everything for sure that I need to do here. Um, I'll know what I'm going to be eating because I'm meal prepped today and I haven't cooked anything. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to cook yet because I kind of just throw some stuff into the pot. Throw, throw a pan of something in the oven and then I take that and I put it into four or five containers and that's my week's food. So here we go. And um, you guys have a good day. Sorry if I rambled too long. This was my first write on it live. So... If I'm doing anything wrong, let me know in the thing. Or if you want to see anything different, let me know. Like and subscribe below if you want to see some more videos. And you guys have a good day.